guidance counsellors are wrong. But then, so are a lot of people. The most common question asked when trying to figure out what you want to do at university is, what do you want to do? This is the wrong question. If you knew what you wanted to do, then you wouldn't be at a guiding counsellor's. Rather, we should be asking, who do you want to be? Every group of people has an underlying culture which promotes particular personality traits. Why is this not taken into consideration more when we're trying to decide what we want to do and who we want to be? Consider who you are as a person. Are you competitive, non-confrontational, like to argue, want to make a visible difference in the world? Are you someone who prefers being in a group, forming deep connections with people? Would you rather spontaneity or do you find safety in routines? Now, this is the fun bit. Consider who you want to be and what your values are. This includes what you want to be viewed as by others. Smart, successful, funny. This includes by your family and friends. People say, do what you want to do, nobody else matters. It's you who has to live with it. But you also have to live with your family and there's nothing wrong with taking into consideration the people who you care about and will might literally have to live with, not just figuratively. Consider your role models and what you admire about them. And yes, you can put me down on that list, it's Jane without a Y. And feel free to comment whatever you admire about me down below. You may want to write this down as two lists. Who you are and who you want to be. It may look something like this. Now, circle the things that you won't compromise about your personality. The things that make you proud or the things that are just maybe not within your ability to change. These are the things you want your degree to promote within yourself or not include in some cases. Everything on the other list of things that you want to embody are the things that you want your future career to promote and help you achieve. Now, you just need to find a pathway that will allow you to grow into that person that you want to be and will allow you to be surrounded by people who will inspire you to be the best person that you can. This is why one of the best ways to figure out what you want to do is to go to camps or workshops where you'll be surrounded by your future colleagues rather than paying attention to the work. Although, do that as well because if you don't like the work then you probably shouldn't be going into the profession. Pay attention to the people are they people that you would want to be friends with, surrounded by for the rest of your life? Because these are those people. Do you enjoy their company? Do you like the way that you behave when you're around them? Stereotypes are just stereotypes. But every profession has them, and it's the way that people will judge you when they first meet you. Engineers. Smart, but socially awkward. Bachelor of Arts. Fun and flexible, but weren't smart enough to get into uh, anything else. Nursing? What are you, a girl? Or language degrees? Yeah, no, they're still confused by us. Yeah, they just think we're crazy. You know what? Sometimes I don't think they're wrong. And for sure, if you really want to go into a profession but don't like the culture, change it. Challenge it, change it, but don't deny it. Know thy enemy, because otherwise you might just become dissatisfied with your profession and come to resent your life. Also, be aware that you might be coming up against other stereotypes, such as racism or sexism, and that any culture that you're battling will be on top of what other things you may already have to face. So just make sure you're going into it with eyes wide open. Opportunities are endless, and let's face it, if the world isn't big enough, there's always the moon. The sky is no longer the limit. We can do anything. So go out there, be who you want to be, and live your best life. Good luck to all of you. Jane? <laughs>